Day six of learning how to wrap my 350Z. Welcome back to Annie's Janky Garage, and today I'm wrapping my first panel without any supervision. I started by JB welding the passenger side pillar because it was cracked and I did not want to buy another one. Then I sprayed down the driver's side pillar with some rubbing alcohol and wiped it down thoroughly. I decided to lay the wrap down in sections. Even though the pillar is one of the easiest parts to wrap, the inner perfectionist in me was stressing since I was fully on my own this time. The wrap was super forgiving and I only needed to use heat for the corners and tucking. Then it was time to start trimming. I never understood how wrap techs were so light handed that they could cut the wrap without digging into the car, but then I realized that comes with time and practice. I made sure I had a steady hand and left just enough to tuck the wrap underneath without it peeling back. I also double checked everything with my heat gun. For my first panel fully by myself, I think I did a really good job. It looked pretty professional in my opinion, my tucking and cuts came out nice, and I had no bubbles or creasing. I also decided to bond with the holes that were on my trunk rather than learning to weld so I can get the car done faster and because I bought a new duckbill that will end up covering it. Stay tuned for day 7.